So, if there's something we can all agree on about Kanye, it's that he's a very polarizing figure. And this album is just that polarizing. To some people, Ye's a genius, and to other people, he's just overrated. So I went to listen to the album, and I've got to admit, it's not really the type of music I normally listen to. So I wanted to go in it without a bias and just listen out for the positive things and see why people might like it. Within the first two tracks of the album, I can already see why somebody might not like it. Kanye's always pushing the creative boundary, doing what other people ain't doing. The album starts off with two very melancholic tracks, using very muffled snares, reverse drums, things that you don't normally hear in music that's being made today. So it makes sense that people don't like it because it's not what they're accustomed to. The album picked up by the third song with a very dancey vibe. It had a really interesting bass line that gave a really nice groove and bounce to the song. Kanye's use of vocals, group vocals and samples in this album was very bizarre. The song of Ye's daughter on it sounded like a slowed down version of Jersey Club. I think it's great that he got his daughter involved. I mean the whole sound of the album really just sums up Ye's personality. You never know what to expect. That's pretty much my thoughts on the album and with that being said I want to check out Anthony Fantano's review because I've been hearing a lot of people are outraged about it so let's react to it. Let's see what my man had to say. Unreviewable trash and here's why. Question, what is even the purpose of a music review in the first place? I can say at least in terms of my own intent uh, that when I do a music review I hope to achieve a couple of things. One, give the viewer pause and cause them to think about why it is they do or don't like the piece of music or art that I'm doing an overview of. Or two, excite people to give the music that I'm talking about a try. Those are the two things yeah, I want to do. Enough problem, neither of those goals are possible in any scenario that involves reviewing this album. Yeah, News I, I disagree with that because in, you know, with what I just said in my review, I definitely, I can see why people like the album, you know? I, I can see why people don't like it as well, because like I said, it's not really the type of music I like listening to, but I don't think it's trash by any means. A lot of the hip hop that comes out nowadays, I feel like is a lot worse. At least I, I see that that Ye's really been creative and tried to push uh, a boundary musically and do stuff that hasn't been done before production wise and and you know the weird structures that he's got in the songs the group vocals the harmonies the the you know a lot of things that he's done the instruments he's uses the vibe of the songs you know like that song that has the really hard like da, 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 as soon as it starts it's like really like just gets you hype off the bat I understand why people don't like it because it's not what they're used to, but you know, let's, let's see what he's got to say. Flash, since 2022, Kanye has made it his mission to go full on anti Semite, spouting insane conspiracy theories, talking about how he loves Hitler. And at some point, I think he realized how much he fucked up with all of that. So now he has to own this total dumpster fire he's created and boast about how people think he's anti Semitic now. Because, yeah, they do. Even if he does genuinely apologize and change his behavior past this point, his public image is forever altered by all of this. I mean, you platformed a booger-eating white supremacist and have guys uh, like this repping for you on a highway overpass. This is not a can of worms a guy like Kanye is capable of closing. Not without help from someone who is willing to tell him no. But he spent this same period of time pushing away anybody who could possibly do that at this point. Especially his wife, who he has now replaced with somebody who he just like kind of parades around like she's a naked body with no personality, opinion, or voice. Something that- Okay, okay. I, I, I know I'm not really commentating much, but it's just because I'm just hearing his point. Um, so personally, I don't really feel like this has anything to do with the music. Like he's more talking about Kanye as a person. Like, I mean, I guess if you just wanted to say, listen, I don't want to review Kanye's music because I feel like he's anti-Semite or blah, 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 whatever. I mean, that's one thing, but I don't know. I thought we was talking about the music here. And he said the music's trash. And then he just gone on to talk about Kanye as a person and controversial things he said and stuff. I, I, I don't know. 
that on some level I think he's weirdly proud of, as on the very lyrics to this record, uh, he calls her just a reference, which is maybe one of the grossest and most dehumanizing things Kanye has said about a woman on any of his songs, and it, it's being directed at his wife. So this trajectory Kanye has been on as of late has left him with an interesting mix of fans. One, hateful psychos that actually agree with some of the stuff that he's been saying, and are actually in my Twitter mentions theorizing that I'm a Jew, and that's the reason I don't really like uh, his recent music. Two, anonymous nihilistic teenagers that don't really think anything he says or does has any greater consequence in the world, and are most likely bored and lonely and will just defend Kanye because watching him unravel is more entertaining than most things, and I guess brings some kind of meaning to their otherwise meaningless lives. And three, cultish weirdos who parasocially obsess over him and everything he does, and would basically follow him to the ends of the earth. Keep in mind, these individuals have always been in his fan base to some degree, but prior they were at least mixed in with genuine hip hop heads. Now, these three types of people, and there is overlap between them in Kanye's fan base, don't want to hear anything critical about him at all, ever. They've openly rejected any good faith effort I've made to uh, make them aware of Kanye's downward spiral into Nazi adjacent rhetoric and now imagery in the promotion of this record. The okay, he's kind of still continuing down this path, like. Okay, well, this is why I uh, the the album can't be reviewed because one, it's I don't feel like I want to share it with you, and I don't feel like there's anything valuable for me to point out of why you might like it. And then the rest of the video has just been he's an anti-Semite and his fan base is shit. That's what I'm getting out of this so far. I don't know. I, I thought he was going to talk about the music, but Anthony just seems to be just talking about this. I don't know. Point is, there's no hope of having any level-headed conversation with somebody who is like no. deep into yeah, the Kanye enough. fandom at this point. People who literally think anything and everything he does is great and will write off any bit of dissent as just being uh, biased and unfair to him. As if he's Jesus Christ and can do no wrong. So yeah, there's no convincing them. Which I will say is also the case for people who have left the Kanye reservation over the past several years. Because there are- I mean, if that, but if that's his point though, I don't know why he he don't just say, listen, I'm not going to re review Kanye's music and that's that and just leave it at that. Like, I don't know, like if you're saying there's no point me reviewing the music because his fans are, you know, basically just they're very biased towards Kanye and blah, blah, blah. And they're a bit crazy. They give me death threats. I saw he said something about on Twitter about that. Um, etc. Then why don't you just say I'm not going to review Kanye's album and just ignore it completely instead of I don't know, making videos about it all. I guess, I don't know, it gets some views though and, and publicity, which is a good thing. A fair share of people who are validly pissed off about everything Kanye has been saying and doing recently and feel like it's totally beyond the pale. And even if this record was somehow good, what am I supposed to do? Tell the Jews in my audience, oh, come on, man, he, he didn't mean it. It's not so bad. He's just a little crazy. That's all. Especially since he's not doing anything to gain forgiveness. He is very apparently not sorry for anything he's been saying or doing. And the apologies he has given aren't worth a lick of shit because he'll think nothing of saying Jesus Christ, Hitler, yay, sponsor that, not too long after. Now, there are some people who will say, Anthony, you're being unfair here. Uh, separate the art from the artist. Come on now. You can't separate this crap from the music because it's in the music. Look at the lyrics. Read these words. They have meaning and they are saying things. Let me, let me see what he said. Crazy bipolar anti-Semite and I'm still the king, still the king, still the... They thought headlines is my kryptonite, still the king, still the king. So he's saying they're calling me crazy, they're calling me bipolar, and they're calling me an anti-Semite, but I'm still on top, basically. I'm going to come through and just black out, just black out, keep a few Jews on the staff now. Uh, how am I anti-Semitic? I just fucked a Jewish bitch. I just fucked Scooter's bitch, and we ran her like Olympics. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what, what the whole thing is with the anti-Semitic stuff that Kanye said, because I don't really pay attention to it, but yeah, I, I can see Anthony's point, but like I said, just don't, just, just don't bother with him at all, innit? Just, that's it.
things that are not good or normal. You would have to expect me to separate my brain from my skull if you think I'm just going to ignore it. I think this comment here pretty much sums things up. Uh, we don't care as long as the album is good. His personality and what he says doesn't matter to me. I only care about the music. How do you penetrate this level of self-imposed ignorance? This person is not listening to Kanye. He's not listening to anything I or anyone has to say about Kanye. And this comment was posted after the album was released, so he's apparently not even listening to the content of the music that he supposedly cares so much about. So this argument about, I only care about the music, can't possibly be true. Especially since the music too is shit. The song Paid is one of the most unintentionally hilarious tracks I think Kanye has ever put out. It's just a crappier version of Fade. Why wouldn't you just listen to Fade? You'd have to be delusional to think anything else, especially with this trash ass verse from Ye. And Ty Dolla Sign on it is just amazing, uh, saying that uh, he's just here to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's honest. Then back. Yeah, I mean, but for, for me, this album isn't really about the lyrics as such. It's more just about the vibe of it. And just like if you're going on a drive and you just kind of like you're just focusing on driving, you're not really listening to the words, you're just kind of vibing out. If you enjoy this sonically, then you could enjoy it. You know, that's why I don't necessarily like this type of music because. I am more into lyrics and wordplay and rhyme schemes and storytelling. And, you know, one th the, the main reason why Eminem is my favorite artist is because I feel like I got to know him through his music. Like he's always telling us about his life and about himself and, and he's like an open book, you know. And I haven't really found that with an artist since Eminem you know like I got that a bit with hops in like the the song um hotel in Sydney that's the type of shit or like ill mind nine I think you know when he's talking about you know your mama fucked it all up like all of that stuff like that's the the type of shit that I look for in an artist an artist that I can really get to know once I hear the album I feel like I've I know them better as a person and most artists don't really give me that nowadays um so this isn't really something that i would enjoy and i would listen to but i don't think it's trash by any means and um yeah i i see why people like it i see why people might it might not be their cup of tea but it's not trash um it's just you don't like it personally that's all and that's fine to me with that Jay and Silent Bob chorus has to be one of the dumbest things I've heard on any Kanye album ever. I feel like I'm being punked. But nigga, beautiful big titty bitches don't just fly out of the sky, you know? At least Freddie Gibbs somehow made it flow, but yeah, that, that dude. Yeah, uh, Freddie Gibbs uh, verse on that was was good. Um, I I thought it was quite funny, um, that the way he sampled it and, and, oh no, I just thought it was quite funny. He's just bringing out Ye's comedic side and uh just making a i don't know a weird little funny song i guess i don't know as, as good as he is at rapping he cannot save this track then hood rat has maybe one of the most excruciatingly bad instrumentals on any kanye album ever the mix is a mess and god those repetitions of hood rat hood rat hood rat hood rat i mean i guess it kind of drowns out all the other stuff about the track so <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a silver lining. But almost none of that matters because there is so little to praise with this record. And if Kanye's delusional fans are not hearing that this record is awful on its face as they just kind of listen to it by themselves, uh, nothing I'm going to say is going to convince them. But if you really want a general assessment of this thing, it sounds like a slightly more finished Donda 2. Somehow Jesus is King uh, had more songs on it that sounded more uh, cohesive, well put together, which is saying something because that was previously Kanye's shortest, messiest, most unhinged and crappy record yet. And somehow this surpassed it. And at least in my mind, has achieved the status uh, of being Kanye's worst album. And given that the sequel tends to be a step down from the original uh, in Kanye's case most of the time, the rest of the Vultures series from this point is not looking good. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you. Bye. So one of my favorite songs was Burn because I thought that it was more of the style we're used to from Kanye, kind of like a little throwback um the way he sampled it and just the overall vibe of it that was like my favorite song and gave us a bit of the the old kanye i guess that that we're more accustomed to 
but i don't know you guys let me know what you think in the comments i'm really interested to hear your thoughts and i hope you like this kind of different type of video if you would like to see my opinion on more topics that are going on in hip-hop then you know i'll be willing to make more videos like this maybe some more album reviews uh, and give my opinion on things and yeah there's going to be a music video dropping this saturday and i'm also going to be streaming live reactions this saturday at 1 p.m est so i hope to see you guys there and i'll see you in the next video peace